In Microsoft PowerPoint and in other Microsoft applications, you can create templates which have customized content or formatting installed. When you create a new slide deck file in PowerPoint, you can use the template to have these customizations installed right away in your .pptx file without having to repeat those steps. In this video, I'll show you how to create and use templates in PowerPoint. PowerPoint comes with templates offering a variety of ways to quickly format a slide deck, and really, the basic black and white empty PowerPoint file is itself derived from a template. But I have here a custom template with special formatting and a few slides of content that I added to this template, and I'd like to add to a series of slide deck or .pptx files I'll create in the future. Anytime I want to start one of those slide deck files, I simply click this template and click Create. And it creates a PowerPoint slide deck file with my content and formatting pre-installed. You can create your own template so you can pre-install in any new PowerPoint slide deck a set of formats, text, images, or other content. This saves you a lot of work, and you can distribute this template file to others if they need to create similar slide decks. Any ordinary slide deck file has a .pptx file extension. You probably knew that. A template is actually a variation of this file type with an extension .potx. Day to day, you don't need to think about that, but it's helpful in remembering how to create or modify a template. Let's take a closer look. Say I have a slide deck here with formatting and content I wanted a template. So I'll save it as a .potx file. I already have it saved as a .pttx file. So if I click File, I'll choose Save a Copy, and then, where it says PowerPoint Presentation, I'll click the drop-down there and choose PowerPoint Template.potx. Now, when I do that, PowerPoint says we recommend another folder for this type of file you've selected. That is essential. I'll click Go to Recommended Folder. PowerPoint looks for templates in a designated folder on your hard drive. And I can see custom office templates is usually the subfolder name, and it's often under your user account in Windows. So I have uh, an appropriate name. I can identify this template later on, and I have it going to a .potx file type, and it's going to the appropriate folder where PowerPoint will be able to find it later on. All I need to do is click Save in the lower right of this dialog. Next, I want to make it so this template is easily findable so I can use it to create ordinary slide deck files or .pptx files. I'll click File in the upper left, and this time I'll click New. Then I'll click Custom and Custom Office Templates. And I'll see that template that I just created. In the lower right of this little thumbnail, there's a pin icon. I'll click it to pin that template. Now, I'm going to close PowerPoint in order to test everything out. So I'll close PowerPoint and reopen PowerPoint. And now I'm going to see my templates been added to this quick access bar on the home screen or on the news screen. In either place, if I click it, it's not going to open the template file. It's going to create a .pptx file using the template file. So I'm not making changes to the original template, but I'm working with a .pptx copy of it, and I've got all my formatting and all of my content preloaded. That's as it should be. What if I wish to modify an existing template, though? Simple. I need to find and open the .potx file itself. I'll click File, Open, and it may be handy if I was working with it last, recently, as it is right here. If it isn't, I may need to click Browse and go back to that template folder, and I see it right here. I'll click it. There's the .potx file. I'll click Open. And now, this is the .potx file that's open in the PowerPoint editor. Any changes I make will be made to the template, not to a derivative file. So if I make a change here and then I subsequently make more PowerPoint slide deck files, .pptx files, using this template, it will incorporate those changes. 
In order to do that, I'll need to save any changes I make like I would save any other PowerPoint file.